Welcome to Assembling Droid Heads. The Star Wars Legion B1 Battle Droid Kits have the heads in two parts so that the you know, mold can mold them appropriately and all that. This has made a lot of folks very mad and has widely been regarded as a bad idea. Well, here's the thing. It's a necessary evil. Now, if you look at this droid head, you see that little notch there. That's where we need to put the front of the droid head. And on the corresponding sort of flat face piece, we have a corresponding notch in the back. Those go together about like so. The trick here is getting them to go together without being frustrated. So, here is the solution for you. First, get yourself some Tamiya extra thin cement. I just realized when I started the video I had the price tag of mine facing there. I bought this for $5.50. It was worth every single penny. You see, the Tamiya ultra thin cement has this very tiny, tiny brush on it. And that is essential for this. So here's what you do. See how I'm holding this droid face piece? I'm holding kind of the little back, I don't know, the droid ponytails, whatever you want to call that like this, keeping the area that I'm going to put glue on kind of away from my fingers. I am going to be holding the other piece of the droid head like this, keeping the area that needs to be glued again away from my fingers. How I'm going to do this is I'm going to take the ultra thin cement, I'm going to run the brush along the side of the bottle to get all the excess off, and then I'm going to put glue on this area, just barely any glue on this area. There's going to be a little bit, but not a lot. Then, I'm going to take the head, this headpiece, and I'm going to stick it on there, and I kind of like to stick it on here and then fold it. That is the key motion. Undo the other hand, let's see if we can get it to stick. I think I did not quite actually use enough glue. This is the woes of trying to do this on camera. There we go, that looks a little bit better. So we just put this together like that. If it comes apart, add more glue. You're going to hold it for a few seconds. Notice how none of my fingers are actually touching the joint. I'm trying to keep the glue off my fingers because if you have glue on your fingers, it's going to get in there. So now I've transferred it to this hand and I'm holding it like this. See that? What I'm going to do now is I'm going to set it down on my you know, building mat, kind of out away from anything else, and I'm going to let it just sit there. Just let it sit there. You need to let it sit until it's completely dry. That is the key to gluing these droid heads. If you are trying to glue these droid heads with super glue, you are going to be getting super glue all over your fingers. There's just no two ways around that. There's no even one way around that. You're going to get super glue all over your fingers. It's just going to happen. If you're trying to glue this with a plastic glue that comes in a bottle that has like a long thin spout on it, I think you're going to have a hard time dispensing exactly the amount of glue that you need for this model. It's, it's very small. You'll see I'm doing it again here a couple times just to kind of show you. Barely any glue. Loving that Tamiya. Tamiya, Tamiya, whatever. It's their ultra thin cement. It is available at a ton of hobby stores. You want to look for like the model airplane stores. I know a few places that sell Warhammer that have it, but um, or that sell Legion, but um, you're not gonna find it. See, I don't have enough glue that time. So all you do is you just add a little bit more. Uh, but you're not typically gonna find it at your, you know, friendly local game store because in order to get it wholesale. They actually have to become a Tamiya distributor, which is kind of a lot of trouble when about the only product they carry or to carry of theirs is probably this glue. So there you go. So I mean, I don't know, in a four minute video or five minute video coming up on here, I me mean, yakking quite a bit, I managed to assemble three heads. So I think you can do, uh, you know, probably a couple heads a minute. And so uh, there you go. You got this. You can do it. All right, folks. 
Take care. Thanks for watching. Let's get gaming.